Hello and welcome to another Stellarian Games video. In this episode we're going to be continuing our DM box series. This is where we're filling up a box full of goodies, full of uh, scatter terrain and different terrain elements that you can use as a beginner dungeon master. In this episode we're going to be looking at how to make some basic stone walls. These can be used to frame up rooms um, on your ultimate dungeon terrain. Uh, you can use them to frame out rooms or you can use them as exterior walls, stone walls outside, um, however you wanted to use those stone walls. But it's a whole bunch of these stone walls that you can use to kind of just frame up whatever you need in front of you uh, to lay out the scene for your players. So let's go to the table and see how this is done. Okay, to start this craft, we're gonna be using three quarter inch XPS foam. We're measuring out basically half inch segments along this three quarter inch foam. We're using three quarter inch to be the height of the walls. So these smooth factory edges will be on the top and the bottom of these walls. I'm also cutting out some corner sections. I'm not sure how useful these will be in actual uh, gameplay, but I thought it might be interesting to have some pre-made corners. Next, I'm just measuring out some selected segments for the different wall sizes. I kind of stuck with inch measurements, whether it was two inch, uh, four inch, six inch, some I made three and five just so I'd have some odd components and I think just a few very small ones as well. Next we're going to use a ballpoint pen and just mark in all of the stonework on the edges of these walls. I'm using the ballpoint pen method um, instead of a knife and pencil just so that I could get through a whole lot of these walls because there's a lot of them. Next, I'm using a lava rock to texture the edges of these walls, um, just to give them a nice stone texture. Now I'm adding some small screws to the bottom of these walls. I'm usually adding two or three to the bottom, just so that it gives a little bit of weight and the walls tend to stand up uh, without tipping over a little bit easier. Now I have a sheet of wax paper down in front of me and I'm coating the entire um, top and bottom with a black paint mixed with Mod Podge mixture and this will give it a nice hard uh, shell to protect the piece. Now I'm doing sort of my typical dark brown undercoat followed by a tan dry brush over the top of that. I'm trying to keep that tan color um, a little bit richer than just a gray stonework. I am adding a little bit of stone kind of in patches just so that it have some color variation on the piece. Last, I'm adding a black wash to all of these pieces. Um, that'll add a lot of the depth and texture to the stonework as it'll fill in the recesses between the stones. You may also want to spray these when, when they're done to give them one extra protective coat. And here's the finished product. Um, I think it looks really good on that ultimate dungeon train. These are just simple segments you can quickly set up for any configuration and allows your players to visualize what's in front of them. So if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe and we'll see you again next time. Thank you.